Intelligence agencies have arrested a staffer of Bharat Electronics Limited in Bengaluru for spying for Pakistan. The Defence Ministry has sought approval from the Defence Acquisition Council to drastically reduce the average time taken for defence acquisition from the present two years to only six months. The Indian Army and Air Force are set to place an order for 250 Brahmos supersonic cruise missiles valued at around 20,000 crore rupees. The Defence Acquisition Council has cleared 40 Varun Astra heavyweight torpedoes for the Indian Navy. The Defence Acquisition Council has granted acceptance of necessity to the procurement of 1,350 horsepower engines for T-90 tanks, and three additional improved Netra Mark 1A airborne early warning and control aircraft. Paris Defence has secured a 142 crore rupees contract from DRDO to develop a laser source module and integration with beam control system on mobile platform, meant for anti-drone and anti-missile applications. After initial tests at Hindustan Aeronautics, the Tejas Mark II prototype will be sent to the Chitradurga Aeronautical Test Range for rigorous evaluation process, that will streamline the testing phase with higher sortie rate per day. The Royal Moroccan Army has unveiled plans to order 400 MOAP in multiple configurations, that includes 105mm and 120mm cannon variants, as well as a specialized medical variant. Hindustan Aeronautics Limited has showcased an image featuring the 8th Tejas trainer aircraft alongside the 1st Tejas Mark 1A. The Indian Air Force has thrown its weight behind a proposal to bring the engine development for the AMCA under the direct oversight of the Prime Minister's office, as the high-stakes project requires inter-agency coordination and rapid decision-making. With four partner countries US, France, UK and Russia presenting individual offers detailing intellectual property rights technology transfer levels and work share percentages, it necessitates high-level oversight to navigate its complexities and meet strategic deadlines. Military analysts have said that the Su-57 offer with full technology transfer local production as well as integration of Indian systems and weapons, makes it the best candidate for Indian Air Force requirement as well as the local industry, and this partnership will also benefit the AMCA project by getting access to Russian expertise in fifth-generation engine. India can customize the Su-57 to suit its needs, and it will be cheaper both in procurement and maintenance, while the F-35 would force India to rely on Western weapons. Industry sources have said that India can definitely develop a local alternative to the K-9 Vajra self-propelled howitzer in the next five years. L&T Defense and Tato Advanced Systems can collaborate on chassis development and Hull, Asok Leyland can develop a tracked platform, while Bharat Forge can provide indigenous barrel and breech mechanisms. Bharat Electronics Limited can develop fire control systems, and assist in radar integration and advanced targeting solutions, while Tata Power SED could assist with battlefield management systems, and Bharat Earth Movers Limited can develop heavy-duty military-grade engines and transmission systems. High-strength armor materials can be sourced from Midani Group, and Advanced Weapons and Equipment India Limited can deliver shells and propellant charges. Today's top 3 comments. 